Visiting hours have just ended at City General Hospital. But this man never needs permission to enter. He comes to places like this quite frequently, bearing a visitor's pass printed in the Twilight Zone. Winfield. How's that? Yeah. What do you think that is? It's trouble, I'll bet you. Whatever it is, I'm going to be the first one to find out. Well, what, but what about me? I mean, I'm, I'm staying right here, right beside you. Not right here. Not right here, no. I'm over there, maybe. I... all in white. Same color as his car. Aren't you even a little curious?
you want him to do, Belch? Are you speaking to me? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. As a matter of fact, we were. We were wondering if there was something we could do for you, sir. Thank you, but at the moment, I'm just speculating. Speculating? Yeah, you know, speculating. It's like spitting. Got a name, stranger? Yes. What was that name again? I missed that. The name is Griffin St. George. Griffin? Griffin? What kind of name is that? Who named somebody Griffin? I don't know. Someone who reads too much, probably. I give up. Can't anybody tell me where I am? Why, you're in Winfield, Mr. George. St. George, bless you. Let me help you, mister. When's the last time he had a bath? A what? A bath. Never mind. Uh, please, please don't touch the car. I'm sorry, but I'm sure you understand. Please, move away. Thank you. Brand new car, it's a company car. <clears throat> Mr. St. George, what company do you work for? Yeah. We don't like strangers around here much. We'd hang them if we would do any good. Oh, oh. Oh, don't mind Weldon. His breath is worse than his bite. What is it you do do, Griff? Griffin. You might say I'm in the reclamation business. Oh, well, no, I don't know that I'd say that. Someone else might say it, though. You're right. Someone who knows you a little better. Uh, please, move away from the car. Excuse me. Get back to the office, look in the dictionary. Reclamation. <laughs> Matt, what is it? Look, is this the somebody we've been hiding out from? Yeah. Well, who is he? I don't think I can explain that. Tell me. I want to know. Matt, I'm your wife now, after all. You, you shouldn't keep secrets from me. Not big ones, anyway. I love you. Whoever sold you this map sure done pulled a getting over on you, mister. Don't touch! We're, we're supposed to be... We're supposed to be right here, smack dab between Curryville and Devil's Point. And I'll be darned if we are. Yes, well, obviously somebody's pointed me in the wrong direction, so I'll just mosey along and leave you people to whatever it is that you do. Not much chance of you moseying along with this here wheel. Now, that's not possible. Cars like this do not get flats. <laughs> Looks like you're going to be here quite a spell, Mr. Griffin St. George. One month on the job, and I spent the first three weeks chasing down a delinquent account. And now this. Oh, don't worry. We'll fix it. OK, let's get some men in here. Oh. Well, come on, man. Uh, change the wheel. Let's get a wagon tongue under here. But please, please be careful. Don't you worry about anything. We'll get out of this hot sun and go in the saloon and have us a nice cold drink. Great! Oh, that's the best idea you have. 30 years, Mayor. We'll celebrate my birthday. I'll be 150 come Friday. Oh, don't you pay any attention to Weldon. He, he's not well. I'm well as hell. But in this town, as well as can be, Including that young pup would blow me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't listen to him. He's a derelict. He don't know what he's talking about. So why don't we go in the saloon and get us something nice to drink? I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. That man out there, he's death. Death? Death. He, he comes, finds people whose time is up, and, and, and he takes them away. He was coming for me. 
at the hospital? You saw him? I felt him. No, yeah, please, please, no, no. Oh, no. Oh. First, the age. We all promised about that a long time ago, but then the boy. Now, that George fella could be a, a private detective or something. Oh, he ain't no private detective. He's a dude. He's a city slinker. We'll get a couple of drinks out of him and then shove him on his way. Get me down. I'm missing out. He, he's probably buying the good stuff. I'm sorry, Weldon. You're going to stay up there till he leaves town. We can't risk your talking to him. <laughs> Sheriff, please, please don't leave me. Sheriff, please, I won't say another word. I'm... Sheriff, Sheriff! This is his girlfriend. She helped him escape from where he was staying. Now, I don't really care about the girl, but I have got to find the boy. It means reclaiming things. Uh, I guess that's what Mr. St. George does. He... <laughs> he goes around reclaiming things. Isn't that right, Mr. St. George? <clears throat> we haven't seen the boy. Mm-hmm. What about Weldon? Where's that young pup he was talking about? Weldon? That's right, Weldon. He don't know nothing. He just talks. We got her fixed for now. Sure did. We're gonna have to fix that wheel separate, though. Well, glad you didn't do anything sensible, such as use the spare. Spare? Spare what? Hello, this is St. George, Mortalities Department. Could I speak to Chin Du Long, my predecessor, please? Mean spirited. I see. Well, could you have him give me a ring back? I think this is turning into more than I expected. Uh, I'll check in later. Damn, got off his hook. Who? Weldon. Oh. Hop in. We'll go for a spin. Damn. That's up. You think he'll tell him? What do you think? Of course he'll tell him. Well, maybe we could strike a deal with him. You know, like we did with the Chinaman? Yeah. What do you think about that, Mayor? Oh. Well. Anything is possible. You know, you mentioned that you're about to turn 150. It's quite an accomplishment. People don't usually live that long. In fact, people never live that long. Huh. Well, we're we're all about the same age. You see, there was this Chinaman. 
Chin? Chin Du Long? You know who he was? Sure. He was deaf. He, he wore a long white robe. And everything he wore was... Everything was... White. <laughs> Why? Why did he do it? Why did he let you live? He said we weren't on no list. He said we didn't do no harm to nobody. And that's the truth. We never did nothing to nobody any time. Look, why don't you leave us go too, huh? Because that's not the way the job is done. If you, if you didn't know about us, why did you come to Winfield? I came for the young pup, the boy. Why him? Because his number was up, that's all. Why? Because it was decided before I came on. Why? Because his number was up! Uh, yes, yes, this is St. George. I want to speak to Chin, and I want to speak to him right now. No excuses. Why don't you take me instead? My number must be up. I'm still looking for your number. Ah, yes, Chin, Griffin here. About Winfield. Well, what do you mean? How did I find out? I found out, that's all. Well, if you think I'm going to take the rap for the... Then don't you dare put me on hold, don't you? Hard to find. Yeah, well, you got me, so let's just get it over with. May not be that simple. Should we take a little walk? You see, I may have to take all of them, too. Why? What have they done? Oh, not their faults, really. They should have been collected long ago. It was a mistake. A mistake? You think I like this? This is my first month. The last guy let this happen all the time. A lot in Russia. Look, these people never hurt anybody, and they never bother strangers, and... Well, they're all real nice. Oh, Once you get to know them. Yes, that's probably why my predecessor let them go. He was... sentimental in an inscrutable kind of way. St. George here. Chin, please. Well, I don't care if he's dining with Mao. I want him on the line. Ah, uh, Chin. No wonder the boss kicked you into another job. Well, yes, I know they're nice, but you can't overlook the fact that you have been derelict in your duties and that this has put me into a considerable spot. Oh, don't spout Chinese proverbs at me. Well, I want you to... Hello? He put me on hold again. What's hold? Oh, look, the boy didn't do anything. Maybe we could work something out. I don't want to do this. I have to do it. Look, the, uh, yes, don't do that again. Well, of course I found the boy. I'll call you back. Now listen, people, 
I am tired of playing games! Now, where is the boy? Mr. Death. Not Mr. Death. I am an agent of death. Well, uh, you must have a lot of people to reclaim. So what's so important about this boy? It's just his time, that's all. Well, well, what about the rest of us? <sighs> Don't you people understand? I have a job to do. Now, if I let this boy escape, it will be a big black mark on my record, and I'm in big enough trouble as it is. Do you think my boss is the easiest guy in the world to work for? Huh? No. No. You think that after you're dead, nothing can hurt you? Well, ha! Oh. Death is just the beginning, folks. Wait and see. I can wait. Me too. Yeah. Most of us are entering into our second centuries. But the boy's only 20 years old. Just starting out. Don't take him. Take us. Why you assume this situation is negotiable is beyond me. Have a heart, mister. Yeah, th think of what it'll do for your reputation if you bring in all of us renegades. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of you. Yeah. That's right. All of us. For the boy. Yes. Right. No. No, that wouldn't be right. If we hadn't found this place, chances are you never would have found it either. Nobody knows about Winfield. And there's no reason anybody should. Leave these good people alone. Just take me. No. No, take me instead. Self-sacrifice is nauseating. If the boy was ever here, it's evident he's gone now. That doesn't mean he won't be back. If you see him, you tell him I'm still looking for him. <laughs> Another century or so. <laughs> hello? Ah, hello, Chin. Uh, well, no. I, I think I might have made a mistake. Report? What report? Winfield? Never heard of it. Oh, come on, Chin. Don't worry. They'll never find out. How could they? It's not on any of the maps. You're now leaving scenic Winfield. Population, 62. Median age, 112. There's not much to do here, but you do it for a very long time. Look for it off the beaten path, just south of the middle of nowhere, on the back roads of the Twilight Zone.